Greetings, gentlemen. Brace yourselves for an enlightening journey into the subtle intricacies of body language, with part two of our ultimate guide focused on the hands and fingers. Hone your understanding of these nonverbal cues to master the silent dialogue that unfolds in every interaction. Let's unravel the secrets of hand gestures and finger movements that could dramatically empower your communication and perception skills. In our bustling world of interminable digital messages and fleeting face-to-face -face exchanges, mastering the unspoken can set you apart. Recall the stoic composure of a seasoned attorney or the strategic finesse of a savvy investor. These skills are within reach, and you're about to discover how. When fingers twiddle or thumbs rub against each other, you're peering into a window of someone's inner anxiety or their silent struggle to soothe the nerves. Ever noticed a fellow passenger tapping their fingers in an incessant rhythm? That's the drumbeat of impatience, signaling a demand for action or hastening the drab passage of time. Now consider finger proximity. In moments of fear or anticipation, one instinctively clamps those digits together, forming a protective shield, a primal response to safeguard against threats. And what of a fist embedded in one's pocket? It's a cozy retreat for the hand but casts a shadow of doubt on one's reliability and intent. Oftentimes, intellect is expressed not just through eloquent words but also through assertive gestures. The expanse between thumb and fingers speaks volumes of confidence, while nail-biting echoes a silent cry of distress or discomfort. Observe the persuasive power of the speaker's fist, a passionate amplification of their message. In contrast, a subtle interlacing of fingers and a kneading of the palms are telltale signs of someone grappling with stress or internal turmoil. You might find that the art of preening can both enhance attraction and alter perception. Subtle adjustments to a tie, smoothening of a jacket, these polished movements can be the feather in your cap in a world that places stock in first impressions. But let's not overlook those dismissive tweaks and twirls during conversations, which could sour relationships faster than sourdough left to overproof. Your ability to interpret hand-holding patterns or decipher the dominance in a handshake speaks of a man who understands far more than what's uttered aloud. Every sign, every gesture carries with it a tale waiting to be told. So, gentlemen, as you journey through this script, embark on practicing your newfound knowledge. Challenge yourself. Mute the audio and see if you can decode the unwritten narrative unraveling before you. Before we progress further, mark this moment. If knowledge like this fuels your ambition, if maximizing every interaction is your pursuit, then consider subscribing. Click that button, tap the bell, and see how these insights transform your personal and professional endeavors. Now, as we delve deeper into our exploration, remember, human interaction is a fine dance, and while words lead, the silent gestures are the rhythm we move to. Let's not forget the thumbs up, a universal affirmation or the more enigmatic politician's thumb which compresses complex discourse into a visual exclamation point. The reluctance to engage with the full palm suggests unrest in the bonds that tether us to others, a signal that the heart might not be in sync with a hand's touch. Stay vigilant in observing these cues, as they are the subtle threads that weave the tapestry of human dynamics. In our journey ahead, we will venture into the midsection of our silent articulation, exploring torso tilts, hip holds, and more. Stay tuned for this, as the secrets to the core of human expressions await. To further enhance your prowess in reading between the lines, re-watch this content with diligence and curiosity. Apply yourself, and when ready, we'll continue our quest to dissect nonverbal cues and body language, adding another layer of sophistication to your intellectual armament. As we close the curtain on this chapter, remember that the might of silent gestures like the strongest male hero ever comes from consistent practice, relentless observation, and an unwavering desire to acquire career wisdom through lifelong learning. So, if this video has endowed you with a new perspective or if the knowledge shared has granted you leverage in your endeavors, consider contributing a token of appreciation. The value you've received could be echoed in your gesture of gratitude, found with ease in the link below. Gentlemen, until our paths cross again in this grand digital coliseum, employ these insights with wisdom, strategy, and the assurance of a strong, successful male. Keep cultivating that divine masculine within, and may your journey be rich with the silent power of understanding. Imagine uncovering the subtle cues that translate into powerful insights in negotiations, meetings, and social interactions. This is precisely what we're diving into today, as we decode the language of the shoulders and arms. Based on the insightful work from the Dictionary of Body Language by the esteemed Joe Navarro, let's embark on a journey to raise your awareness and give you an upper hand in reading others. Let's jump right in. When you notice someone's shoulder inching up towards their ear especially during a reply, 
It's a red flag they might be unsure of their response. It's like they're shrugging off their own words. During heated business discussions, this subtle lift could be your silver lining to strike a better bargain. So keep your eyes peeled. Now, when someone begins to lift a shoulder gently, cocks their head, and holds your gaze, it's as if they're silently nodding towards their interest in what's unfolding before them. It's a bodily gesture that can signal a green light in conversations or a silent compliment when someone is genuinely engaged. Ever encountered someone who looks like they're impersonating a turtle, their shoulders hiked up high? This turtle effect tends to scream discomfort. It's as if the person is trying to sink into their shell, speaking volumes about their lack of confidence. Conversely, a brisk shoulder shrug, where the shoulders leap up and then plummet back down, is the universal, I don't know. The velocity at which this happens can emphasize just how clueless they are about the matter at hand. Shoulder rubbing takes the stage when stress knocks on the door. Imagine someone in an interview setting. They reach across themselves, kneading their opposite shoulder to dispel tension. It's as if they're trying to massage away the butterflies in their stomach. But here's where it gets interesting. Wider shoulders radiate confidence and dominance. It's no wonder suits and military uniforms come with shoulder pads. They're literally an armor of self-assurance. You'll see this natural widening before someone takes a significant step or wades into a meaningful encounter. Oh please, why not? Embodies a gesture involving a dual shoulder rise, palms upturned and a slight head dip. It's the universal body language of beseeching, seen everywhere from hopeful children to professionals imploring in high-stakes situations. Such vulnerability we can all relate to, right? Now, onto bowing a nuanced dip forward that can range from a subtle nod to a full-on bow. In a global context, this is an emblem of respect and deference, particularly prevalent in Asian cultures. Let's not forget the heartwarming embrace, a hug. When you spot two individuals enveloped in each other's arms, the real story is often in their faces. Their expression can betray the sincerity of the sentiment in that embrace. Ever seen someone so thrilled they seem to be bursting from within yet are trying to keep composed? Their arms are pinned to their sides, wrists bent, almost awkwardly. It's as if their body is saying, I can barely contain this excitement. As for arm elevation, it's an unbridled expression of joy. Winning a prize or celebrating a victory arms shoot upwards, as if trying to lift the person into the air with their elation. Then there's the arms behind back stance, a classic among royals. It's a message of self-sufficiency, declaring the need for space, but take heed. In social settings, it might just set you apart, and not always in a good way. It's best used sparingly. Have you encountered someone whose arms are as stiff as a board beside them? It's a telltale sign of anxiety, a physical manifestation of the sentiment, I'd rather be anywhere but here. And when we talk about comfort, breaking out into armpit display tells a tale of its own. Think about it, we only expose softer, vulnerable parts like our armpits to those we're most at ease with. The opposite is true as well. Sudden discomfort has arms clamping down, guarding the underarms. Contrary to popular belief, arm crossing isn't just a barrier gesture. It's a multifaceted signal. Sometimes it's a form of self-soothing, akin to giving oneself a comforting squeeze. Other times, it's a barrier built from discomfort or a subconscious shield protecting our midsection from perceived negativity. You've seen it before, the person who crosses their arms tight, exuding an air of restraint. It happens when someone grapples with strong emotions, silently holding themselves back from expressing distress or frustration. It's a sight that calls for empathy. Yet, arm crossing can also stem from displeasure. A person might create a physical divide with their crossed arms to subtly express their disdain or disagreement. Observing their feet as well as their belly direction can offer extra clues. It's not all about defensiveness. Sometimes, when we're pensive or troubled, we cross and massage our own arms. It's as if we're trying to knead away the worries like a baker working on tough dough. Look for the telltale self-massage, often seen when someone is stressed out. Another variant to watch for is when individuals cross arms and grasp their own wrists. This gesture appears when people grapple with challenging news or complicated situations. Think of a poker player who's got an iffy hand it's a gripping sight. Ever witness the dramatic arm spread, where someone's limbs stretch out over chairs or desks? It's a classic power move, a sign that stakes their claim on their immediate environment. However, this expression of confidence can quickly recoil if someone with a mightier aura appears. Let's talk about when elbows widen, jutting out, carving more space in the room. 
It's a posture of assertiveness and sometimes aggression, accentuating points or bolstering an argument. On the flip side, narrowing elbows often indicate a shrinking confidence, a desire to fade into the background. There's a particular intimacy in interlocking elbows. Two people coordinate this physical connection when walking or sitting closely, indicating a private, comfortable exchange, maybe even conspiratorial. A subtle but telling gesture is wrist exposure, a sign of trust and openness as one of the most vulnerable body parts is revealed. Conversely, hiding the wrists denotes caution or reticence. As we venture into understanding minute cues like goosebumps and standing hairs, remember, the devil's in the details. These natural responses hinted emotional states like fear or being cold a shiver running down their spine laid bare for the observant eye. And if you spot excessive sweating, particularly when not exerting physically or under sweltering conditions, it might mean something's up. It's a physical stress response that can imply concealment of facts and indication not overlooked by those adept at human behavior, such as border patrol officers. By now, you've got a veritable arsenal of non-verbal cues to interpret the world around you. And if you found this insight valuable, consider expressing your appreciation with a tip reflective of what you've gained today. Don't forget, to really master this knowledge, take a moment to visualize these behaviors, even with the soundtrack switched off, and you'll start to piece together the emotional puzzles playing out in silence around you. And by the way, if you've enjoyed this exploration and want to ensure you keep honing these critical skills, make sure to subscribe, hit like, and activate that notification bell. It's your ticket to becoming a more perceptive individual in our ever-complex social landscape. In the next installment, we'll ascend from shoulders and arms to the vast terrain of the neck, chin, and facial expressions. Keep an eye out for that link, as we'll pin it for you as soon as it drops. Remember, a well-read man is a man with an edge, and your journey to social mastery is just beginning. Stay sharp, stay curious, and embrace your continuous learning path.